Hi there my crafty friends! If you're new to my channel, welcome! Today's project is a Dollar Tree Valentine's Day DIY. I'll be doing some Cricut machine cutting. I'll do some decoupage, add some really cute embellishments to this adorable mailbox full of roses. So go gather your supplies and let's make a mess! If you don't have a Cricut machine, stay put anyway. I have a solution for you, which I'll share a little later. I bought this cute little mailbox at Dollar Tree. I thought it was so cute, it inspired me. Actually, as I walked by, it literally screamed, take me home and make me pretty. So I had to. I'm removing the little arm on the side. I'm going to put something else there instead. I'm going to cover it with this beautiful heart paper that I got at Hobby Lobby. Where are you watching from? Let me know in the comments. I love hearing from all of you. There's a lot going on on this box and I don't want any of it to show through my paper. So I'm giving it a coat of white paint and I'll let that dry for about an hour. I'm spraying the paper with some water so it will bend easier when I need it to. How many of you out there remember when we had dial-up modems and AOL used to announce, you've got mail? Wow, if I close my eyes, I can almost hear it. This little mailbox reminded me so much of that. Tell me in the comments if you remember. We've come such a long way since then. Because the paper is wet, it folds around the curve without a fight. Oops, looks like I forgot to paint the front of my mailbox, but it turned out okay though. It didn't show through, thank goodness. I cut these cute little envelopes and hearts out with my Cricut machine. If you're printing from an inkjet printer, you'll need to seal everything before you cut them out. This will stop the ink from running when you decoupage them to your project. I use my spray matte sealer. It works great and dries fast. And I usually give it about three quick coats. Now I know not everyone has a Cricut machine. If you'd like to duplicate exactly what I'm doing, I'm going to start offering the Cricut cut items in my Etsy shop. I'll print them, seal them, and cut them all out for you. All you have to do is go into my Etsy shop and look for the section that is labeled Tutorial Packages. I'll need to backtrack and get caught up with my older videos. So if there's anything you want that isn't in there yet, send me a comment and I'll get it set up for you. I'd love some feedback on this idea. Can you guys send me a comment and let me know what you think? Is this something that you'd like to see happen? Thank you all so much. I'm putting together the wooden base now. I found the wooden heart, the Jenga blocks, and wooden beads at the Dollar Tree. The base is a little rough on the edges, so I'm giving it a quick sanding before I glue it all together. I'm also thinking of putting together kits. What do you guys think about that? For example, for this project, I'd supply things like all the wooden pieces, the mailbox, trims, ribbon, and decorative papers, and of course any Cricut items. You would only need to supply things of personal taste, such as the paint, flowers, and embellishments, 
like the dragonfly. And again, send me some feedback and let me know what you guys think about this. Is that something you'd like to see offered? If you're enjoying and finding some value in this video, please hit that like button for me. Doing so helps my channel to grow and sends this video to more people out there. That way I can continue to bring you awesome tutorials. Thanks for doing that. And now it's time for some white paint. I'll let that dry for an hour or so before moving on. I have some great videos coming up. One more Valentine project, a beautiful wooden spice box set, a pink lady and a gorgeous peacock. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And click the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And now it's time to jazz up that base a little bit. It's looking pretty plain. And you guys know how I feel about that. So here we go. I decided to add some red braid and pearls to the edge of the base. Send me a comment and let me know what type of project you would like to see next. Decoupage? Mixed media canvas? Or more mason jar decorating? Your suggestion could be my very next video. I answer every single comment I receive. I love hearing from all of you and look forward to reading all your comments. I'm using some Mod Podge to glue all the tiny little hearts that I cut out with my Cricut machine. Don't forget, these are available for purchase in my Etsy shop. You can find a link below in my description box. Once on Etsy, look for the section Tutorial Packages and you'll find it in there. And the box itself was looking a little plain, so I absolutely had to add some pearls to all the edges. I'm using a Shore Bonder cordless glue gun. I absolutely love this glue gun. It's so nice to work without fighting a cord that's in your way all the time. I have this listed in my favorite tools section in my description box below in case you want to check it out. And now it's my favorite part. It's time to put it all together. I'm gluing the smaller envelopes together. I want print to show on both sides of these little envelopes. So no matter what angle you look at this project, it has a finished look to it. I'm sandwiching a wire between the two large envelopes and gluing it together with Mod Podge. I'm gluing the small envelopes to the side of the mailbox, replacing the ones I removed. I'm gluing a little florist foam inside the box so I have something to attach the flowers to. Then I closed the lid slightly and glued it in place. I'm adding some tiny red roses that I got at Dollar Tree, some leaves and baby's breath. Everything I'm using today for this project is in my description box below. And no Valentine bouquet would be complete without a couple of hearts. I got both of these at Dollar Tree. And the little dragonfly on top I got at Hobby Lobby. 
I bought this pretty little heart ribbon at Dollar Tree as well. I put together a playlist of some other tutorials you may enjoy. Click the picture on the right to be taken directly to that playlist. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.